top 10 comics from DC Comics for the year 1970. These are the most valuable comics and either the most historical or the rarest and highest demand. Let's dive in. Ranking in 10th of the entire year is Green Lantern 77. This is the second issue of the new Green Lantern and Green Arrow team-up series featuring Neil Adams' art, including this amazing cover. Print run was low, estimated at 134,000 copies, now a super popular series to collect. This comic ranks 10th most valuable of the year for DC, and it's the 40th most valuable DC comic of the 1970s. The CGC census is slowly climbing up. Now there's 290 copies graded in all conditions combined, but there are 29 copies grading a super high 9.6 or higher. Heritage Auctions has sold 65 copies of this book since the year 2000. Here's the busy action cover, 15 cent cover price at this time. Using the Overstreet annual price guide year by year, we can, com we can compare all grades. So you can see that in low grades, this book has not moved much at all over the last decade because it's quite affordable still. In higher grades, the last few years, it's been sold at $275, which is now the price a book has to be worth or higher to make the top 10 of the year. And on the census overall, there are seven 9.8s and 22 9.6s. Ranking ninth of the year is one of two war genre comics. Star Spangled War Stories 154 is the origin of the unknown soldier. We have Joe Kubert's story and cover art here. Print run estimated 136,000 copies. It's the third most valuable DC war comic of the 1970s. It ranks ninth of the year, 37th of the decade. Very few copies graded, still only 81. And there's seven high-grade copies and 13 sold at Heritage, which is less than one a year. Busy War cover, classic cover for the DC War genre. Using the Overstreet price guide, we can see the growth in the last decade, again, in low grade is almost nothing. Uh, still pretty easy to find all these books in lower grades. But in high grades, it's finally starting to move up again after a long stall, now at $295. On the census, there are only two 9.8s and four 9.6s. And in eighth place, we have Star Spangled War Stories number 151, the first solo appearance of the Unknown Soldier. And this also features Enemy Ace reprints, which we get in this issue and run every issue. Again, we have Joe Kubert's story and cover art here. This is the second most valuable war comic from DC of the 1970s. Overall, it ranks eighth of the year, 27th of the decade, Print run estimated 136,000 copies. There are 173 copies on the census, 14 super high grade copies, 21 sold at Heritage. Using the Overstreet price guide, this book has been stalled for a couple of years in all grades, but still quite valuable. It's a $430 book in near mint raw condition, 9.2 in the Overstreet price guide. If you want to see what the slab the CGC copies are selling for in higher grades, check out eBay auctions, sold listings. And you can also check out the website, gpanalysis.com, just to see all the graded copies that have been selling in all grades over the past years. On the census overall, there are two 9.8s and 12 9.6s in existence graded. Ranking seventh of the year, Detective Comics 405, always featuring Batman. But this issue also features the first appearance of the League of Assassins. We have a Batgirl backup story, Gil Kane interior art, and Neil Adams cover. Print run estimated only 209,000 copies. Detective Comics, surprisingly, was a poor seller for DC in the 1970s. The book ranked seventh of the year and 22nd of the decade. There are now 331 copies graded, 22 high grade, 27 at Heritage. In the Overstreet price guide, the book has been not moving very quick in low grades, still quite affordable, but in high grades, slowly sneaking up year by year. But you can see in the last decade, the book has really made some massive jumps and uh, has gone up about five times in value in a decade. On the census, there are five 9.8s and 17 9.6s. In sixth place is quite a unique comic, Batman 222, it appears to be the Beatles on the cover. Of course, it isn't actually them due to copyright for this Batman comic, 
but it's clearly a Beatles ripoff, which makes this cover highly collected by Beatle fans and, uh, of course, Batman comic collectors as well. Couple reasons. Of course, we have Neil Adams cover art here. We've got Irv Novick and Dick Giordano art. There's even an art lesson inside from Joe Kubert. Print run estimated 293,000 copies, ranked sixth of the year, 21st of the decade, quite high. There is a Calvin Slobodian pedigree copy grading 9.6. 429 copies graded, 17 high grade, 36 at Heritage. In the Overstreet Price Guide, this book continues to slowly climb in all grades. It's now a $445 book. There are only four 9.8s and 13 9.6s. And Batman is the most highly clicked title of the 70s, which means demand will stay strong for this book for a long time coming. In fifth place of the year, this one's been quickly climbing our list, Superman's Girlfriend Lois Lane 106. This controversial story is a Black Like Me story titled I Am Curious, where Lois Lane changes her skin color to black in this racial story. Kurt Swan cover art, print run estimate at 355,000 copies. Yes, in 1970, Lois Lane outsold Batman every month. This book ranked fifth of the year, 16th of the decade. There are 330 copies graded, three high grade and heritage now sold 19. Black background cover. In the Overstreet Price Guide, this book is having tremendous growth in the last decade. In low grades, it's tripled, and in high grades, it's almost gone up five times, having a massive jump in 2021. It's now a $500 book. There are two 9.8s and one 9.6 of this book. In fourth place is the rarest book in our top 10 by far, and that is why this bank book ranks so high is due to its all ultimate extreme rarity. Super DC Giant 17 was a 25 cent thick giant size issue and the theme of this month was love, 1970. So we got some great romance titles in a comic that very few people bought or at least saved. And therefore this scarce book, 64 page giant, is very tough to find in any condition. It's the first of two romance issues in this particular series. And it's the third most valuable romance comic of the 1970s from DC. Ranks fourth of the year and 18th of the decade. Print run estimated at a low 100,000 copies, but very few copies saved. Not many superhero collectors, of course, want this book. So it's kind of the rarity and oddball genre books collectors that want this book. There are 57 copies on the census. Five high grade heritage has sold eight copies. And this is one of my favorite books on the list. Using the Overstreet Price Guide, we can see the growth of this book has been pretty slow in the last decade, but it is sitting at $575. It's quite a pricey book for the romance genre. There are two 9.8s and three 9.6s of this book. Number three of the year, Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, 134. This is the first appearance of Darkseid in a cameo on the last page, which was why this book is so valuable. But it also features Neil Adams cover art, also Jack Kirby interior art and story. Print run at a high 333,000 copies. And this is the number one most valuable Superman related comic of the entire decade. It ranks third of the year for DC and seventh of the decade. Lots of demand for this book, 1600 copies graded, 39 high grade, even 121 sold at Heritage for this 50, 15 cent comic book. On the Overstreet Price Guide, you can see it's been slowly moving, but in the last decade, it really had a big jump. Demand for Dark Side really increasing. So in the last decade, this book has actually gone up an incredible eight times in low grade and nine times in high grades. Now a $925 book. There are 10 9.8s and 29 9.6s. Number two of the year, possibly the most iconic cover of the 1970s from DC and probably my personal favorite cover. This is Batman 227. It's the classic Gothic cover by Neil Adams. 
which is actually a swipe homage cover to the original Detective Comics 31. The uh, popularity of this cover has really been growing over the years, and I've even done some homage covers for exclusive store variants of this book. In this issue, Robin appears in the backup story. We've got um, the book print run estimated 293,000 copies, but look at that solid black background cover makes this a tough one in high grade. It's the number two book of the year and the number four DC comic of the 1970s. Lots of demand for the book as it increases on the census, over 1,300 copies graded, 28 high grade, 111 sold at Heritage. And the Overstreet Price Guide, this book is nonstop. It just has been moving continuously every year, never slows down in all grades. It's now a $1,300 book. In the last decade alone, the book has gone up almost four times in low grade, and it's gone up five times in high grade. It's unstoppable right now. There are nine 9.8s and 19 9.6s. And now we come to the number one most important DC comic of 1970 by far, Green Lantern 76. This is the beginning of the Green Lantern Green Arrow team up stories, which are uh, very popular. And it's Neil Adams' first issue as the artist on this title. And the socially relevant stories would begin with this issue writing for 14 issues. And this book started ranking number one of the, uh, the year in 2009 and had massive jumps around then. It's number one of the year and the number two most valuable DC comic of the decade. Print run estimated at a low 134,000 copies. There are 1,800 copies graded, including 25 high grade. Heritage has sold 304 copies of this iconic cover in green. Using the Overstreet Price Guide though, however, this book is completely stalled. It has not budged in any condition in nine years. It's way ahead of the pack, though, and it made some massive jumps, as you'll see, around the year 2007 to 2011, where it, it really skyrocketed. But now that it's expensive, it's been stalled for a while. Still, demand is high. There are only two 9.8s in this book and 23 9.6s. Now, let's compare the top 10 books of the year on the CGC census. Which books have the most copies graded? Well, Green Lantern 76 by far is in the lead with 1,800. But Jimmy Olsen is right behind at 1,600, followed by the Batman 227 at 1,300. After that, the numbers fall quickly. And you can see that the lowest on the census, as expected, is Super DC Giant 17, 57 copies only. The war copies are quite low. But after that, the rarest one on the list is the lowest lane with only 330 copies graded. On the high end of the census, Every one of these books on this list have 9.8s, but most of them are quite rare. A lot of these books only have two copies graded that. Overall, what book seems to be the most common at the high end? Well, it actually looks like it's Jimmy Olsen 134. It's got 39 books in the top 9.6 or higher. And again, the rarest book is either Super DC Giant or The Lowest Lane 106. That book overlooked for many decades and only becoming popular now. So the census is quite low on that book. There you go, the top 10 books of DC for the year 1970. We continue this series year by year every week. So please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching.